so much for showing up. Let's begin on our backs, taking that nice lengthy stretch from toe tip to fingertip. Maybe a big breath in. See how you're feeling this morning on your mat. And we'll give those knees a little hug in towards the chest. You can rock from side to side, taking some circles through the knees, just seeing how you feel through the lower back, outer hips. Before we get into our bridges, let us begin. We'll place the soles of the feet down parallel to one another. Find a proper distance that suits your body from your feet to your torso. And grounding down into your feet, we'll send those hips, lifting them high, and then lower to a hover, squeezing at the top, and then lower. So the idea is to find that engagement at the top end of your lift, keeping your core engaged with a sharp exhale, and keep that tailbone lengthening down so you don't feel any sort of crunchiness through the lower back. If you have some good music that you want to crank, I would love to be able to crank my music, but YouTube doesn't allow me to load the videos if I do that. So pressing down and then hovering. Looks great, you guys. Keep going, finding that rhythm, finding that engagement through the glutes, the hammies, Quads will start to get a little warm as well. Lift and hover. So squeezing that backside. Keep going. And we'll take the slower pace for five, for four, three, two, one. And now stay lifted through the hips. It's just the heels that go up and down. So stay lifted and squeezing. Just lift and lower the heels. Certainly adjusting your feet if you need to, maybe a little closer towards your torso so you can really arc open through the body. Yeah, that looks awesome, Coach. You got it. Keep going. Lifting. Oh, good morning, Nicole. Lift and lower. Heels go up and down. Squeeze. Squeeze. How's your breath? That's it, Coach. Looks great. Keep going. Sharp exhales to recruit the abs to help support the back body. Yep, that's it, Allison. Really nice. Keep going. Lifting and lowering just to heels. Your calves may start to feel a little warm as well. And the slower pace with the heel lifts. We're finishing up in five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted high on those tippy toes. And we start to pulse it out. This last little blast for our parallel leg bridges should get everyone's attention. We're just taking that narrow band of movement, staying engaged the whole time. That's it, Kate. Keep going. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, yeah. You got it, Jerry. Keep going. So very little movement through the hips as the whole back body stays engaged. You're really starting to get that heat going through the backside. Soft through the face, strong through the core, high on those tippy toes. So adjust if you need to, so you can really stay lifted. That's it, Sav. Awesome work, you guys. Ooh, yeah. Last little blast here. We'll finish these up in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, well done. Hug those knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little appreciative hug of support. And then we'll set up for our wide-legged variation of our bridges. So starting out with the toes turning out, heels just beyond the distance of your hips, and a slower pace to begin. So lifting and hovering. Squeeze and lower. So not a quick drop of the hips. You want to stay nice and engaged through the front body, through the back body, as you find this nice range of motion through the hips. Yeah, that looks great, you guys. Good work, Kate. Lift and hover. Squeeze and lower just a few centimeters. So you are working the descent of the hips. They call that working the negative so that you're not just collapsing out of the squeeze. Yeah, that looks great. Tailbone. Driving down towards the front edge of your mat. 
And nice sharp exhales at the top range to recruit the abs. Yeah, that looks great, Allison. Keep going. Nice and slow to begin. Getting our rhythm here. And we'll finish these up in five, four, three, two, one, and again, adjusting your toes as you need to, simply lifting and lowering the heels. So that opportunity to stay super high through the hips and just move those heels up and down. Low glute mean, the low adductors really firing up through the shape. How's your breath? How's the tightness in your jaw? Are you clenching through your teeth? Can you give a little space between the back of your jaw? Ooh, as it starts to generate that lovely heat. That's it, Phil, you got it. Keep going, keep going. Lifting and lowering those heels. Squeeze, squeeze. Hopefully some good music keeps your mind off what you're feeling in the backside. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Lifting and lowering. Tailbone drawing long. Heels lifting and lowering for the last five, four, three, two, one. Stay super high through your tippy toes, high through the hips, and you got it, guys. This is the last blast in our wide legged pulse, pulse, pulse. So, again, very little movement of the hips as you stay super switched on in this last segment. You've got it, Jerry. Keep going, keep going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Committing to the strength that you're building through your glutes, hamstrings, inner thighs, outer thighs, belly. It's all happening here. You guys look great. Keep going, keep going. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Bring the arc open a little more. Maybe you didn't know you had a little more height through the tippy toes. Yeah, that's it, Nicole, you got it. We'll finish these out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done in the wide-legged, hug it on in, rocking from side to side. One more set of bridges, guys. We're taking our feet, joining them together, our knees are winging out wide. Bring the outside edges of the feet down on the mat, and then we begin our lifting and lowering. So butterfly bridges here. You may not get super high through the lift of your hips, but just concentrate on the squeezing action. Keep going, lifting and lowering. Squeeze and hover. Looks great, you guys, keep going. That's it, Cooch, ooh yeah. Lift and hover, squeeze. Squeeze. That's it, Sab. Nice work. Looks like a beautiful day again. <laughs> we just have such nice weather up there. Keep going, keep going. How's your breath? How's that tailbone length? Technical difficulties, no worries. Just hop in whenever you can. So happy you're here. That's awesome. Keep going. Yes, Jerry. Good work for five, four, three, two, one. We are in the home stretch. Pulse it on up here, guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That quicker pace means you don't lower as much. You have that opportunity to stay engaged the whole time. Pressing into the outside edges of the feet. The knees aren't open too wide. Certainly getting your attention through the inner thighs. Yeah, that looks awesome. Keep going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Tailbone lengthening, soft through the face. Last little bridge set, and then we are finished for our morning. Yeah, keep going. Ooh, yes. And we'll finish these out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Amen to that. Those never seem to get much easier. You know, when you do them all the time, <laughs> they really stick with you. All right, so we are going to begin on our right side forearm, stacking the left leg in front, coming into our side plank. At the 30 second mark, if you wanted to add the scoop under while keeping that lift through the hips, that'll be your challenge. 
and let's begin. We're on for a full minute. I'll give you that 30 second marker. Find those heels, hips, and shoulders all in one line. So a nice vertical stacking through the shoulders, pressing into that right forearm, not collapsing into that right shoulder. Looks really strong. Awesome work, Nicole. Keep going, keep going. Send those hips a little higher as you find that nice lift through that right side waist. Yeah. Awesome work, Seb. Looks so strong. And then that's 30 seconds. So keeping the hips nice and high, that's the, that's the tough work. You're just moving through the thoracic. If you wanted to increase this, you could add a weight. That looks super strong, Kate. It's so nice to have you front and center and not Richard. <laughs> you can tell him I said that. Good work, keep going. And breathe as you find that rotation while maintaining the lift of the hips. Last little bit here in our right side plank, and we're done. 30 seconds on our bellies. So this morning's back extension work, we're gonna make capital T's, we're gonna make capital Y's, we're gonna make capital I's. 30 seconds, finding your capital letters as you strengthen through those muscles that support the spine. You can go back. Any variation of capital letters that you want, just really focusing on those erector spinal muscles. Lifting as much of your thighs up off the mat, your chest up off the mat. That looks awesome. Nice. Good work, Phil. Keep going, keep going. And breathe. Good. That's 30 seconds. We'll set up for our 90 second plank hold. Find your footing, find the support of your forearms on the mat. Setting the clock and let's go. So beginning with your heels pressing away, you'll feel your quads switch on and keep that engagement of the underside of your body. So think about those floating ribs and those frontal hip points zipping up, tailbone reaching long. Press into those forearms so you're not collapsing through the shoulders. And take a nice gentle <laughs> smile to the face that so you're not clenching through the teeth. That's awesome, Deb. Keep going. Finding your breath that helps support the strength through the core, the hips are not too high. You got it, Allison. Good work. And believe it or not, we're already 45 seconds in. So you got this. If you need to drop to your knees at any point, by all means. This is all optional. Working at your own levels. Find your breath. Press those heels away. Those strong legs help support that belly. Strong forearms help support hips. Yes, so good, you guys. Awesome work, Nicole. Keep going, keep going. Find an evenness of breath. We're in the last 10 seconds. You got it, Cooch. In three, two, one. Well done, everyone. Let's do our T, Y's, and I's for 30 seconds and beginning. So find that lift up through the limbs, thanks to the strong muscles along the spine. Yeah, looks good, everyone. Keep going, keep going. Using your breath to help lift off. Good work, Kate, really good. And we're finished with that belly down backward. Let's come and finish up our planks with the left forearm down, right leg stacks in front. Send that right arm high, send the hips high. We're on for a minute, I'll give you that 30 second cue. If you need to drop down to that left side knee, that's certainly an option. Again, modifying where you need to. Finding those heels, hips, and shoulders all in the line so no weird check marks through the body. Press into that left side if you want to reach that right arm high as the hips go even higher. That's it, Jerry. Super strong. And here we go. Scooping that right arm under and then up. Try not to bring the whole hips with you as you find this rotation through the upper back. Yeah, that looks great, Cooch. Keep going. How's your breath? 
That's it. Good. Nice work, Team Young. So good. Three, two, one. Awesome work. We're done with our planks. So I will outline our four sets of abs. So this morning we're starting with a frog crunch. The legs come out at a 45 degree, support the head. And these split as you aim them towards your elbows. But also think about your elbows reaching towards your knees so you get that nice crunch. Second one is a sit up and reach. Arms can begin overhead if you like. Heels are down, toes can stay lifted. You sit up and you reach. Again, if you wanted to bring a weight into this, that would definitely make it a little more challenging. So a full sit up and a reach overhead with the arms. Our third one is can cans. You're on your forearms. And easier version, one leg stays on the ground, knee to chest, foot to ceiling, just like you're doing the can food. If you wanted to make it harder, you would hover the leg that's extended out on the mat. Yeah, that's a little spicy. And then finishing up with round the worlds, knees are bent, stacked over the hips, and you just go a little side crunch through the center, little oblique work, round the worlds. So the four, just to review, frog crunch, sit up and reach, hand hands round the worlds. Beginning with our frog crunch, out and then lift. 20 seconds on. Use your strong exhale to drive the knees and towards the elbows and lift the chest up towards your thighs. Yeah, that looks awesome, Jerry. Good work, Allison. Keep going, keep going. Reach. Sit up and reach. So just reviewing arms can reach up overhead both ways as you lie back and as you sit up. Here we go. Again, use your exhale to help. So lovely to want to use momentum here. But see if you can take them at a pace that really emphasizes the work the belly has to do. Yes, coach, that's it. Keep going. Fantastic work. Get to chill out for a moment on your forearms before we set up for our little can can dance. Bring the opposite leg to the side. So knee to chest, leg to ceiling. Oh yeah. So the trick here is to stay super engaged to the belly. No one wants to load their lower back here. So if it's too much, don't hover that opposite leg. Keep it on the ground. Change, good work. Finishing up our first round with round the worlds. Breathe, prepare, and let's go. So find that opposite shoulder reaching towards the opposite knee to get that oblique work. Sneaky are the knees. They want to come forward towards the chest. Can you keep them stacked over your hips and give yourself a little farther reach? Yes, yeah, so change. First round done, three more to go. Frog crunches take us to the top. And begin, crunch it on out. Working at your own pace, maybe this pace feels a little quicker because you know where you're going. Maybe a little slower because you're not used to doing sit-ups. Keep going, keep going. Use your breath as your guide. Change. What do I have next? Sorry guys, we have sit up and reach. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> no, sit up and reach. Let's all go. So getting that full work of our belly in this exercise. Strong through the belly. Don't let the arms pull you, but rather the belly lifts you. Yeah, so good, Sam. Change. Hand hands now. Tapping a little more into the lower belly. Super protective of your lower back. Here we go chest, foot towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Yeah, it looks awesome though. Keep going. Nice work, Nicole. Tapping into that lower belly strength. Maybe a little pointing of the toes. So pretty. Change. Finishing out 
Round two with round the world. Stay honest with where your knees and hips are in place. Keep getting that oblique work as you shorten that side waist, reaching opposite arm to opposite knee. Oh yeah. That's it, Kate. Looks super, super strong. Long on the exhales. Change. Halfway through, guys. Back to the top with frog crunches. Prepare. Let's go. So as you extend those legs away from you, you have to stay super engaged through the belly. It's not just the chest lifting towards the thigh where the work happens. But you're protecting your lower back by staying engaged as you kick out. Change. Sit up and reach. Fill up the breath. You're on. 20 seconds. Again, picking it at your own pace. Maybe you have some really good music on and you're cranking it up. Use your breath. Looks great, Kate. Keep going, keep going. Change, good work. Hand hands. Breathing here. Hovering or not, you decide. Focusing here on where you feel your strength and avoiding any sort of tension through the lower back. That's it, sad and nice. Good work, Kush. Awesome. Keep going. Change. Finishing out round three with round the world. Breathing, recovering. And let's go. Supporting the head easily with the hands. It's not like you're pulling the elbows towards the knees, but rather the shoulder blade. So you really get that nice twisting and shortening of the side waist, targeting those obliques. Change. One more round. And then we're done with our ab work. Frog crunch to the top. Three, two, one, and fun. Shooting those legs out with your strong belly, supporting. That's it. Really nice work, Phil. You got it. Strong exhale. Breathing. Change. Sit up and reach. Three, two, one, and begin. Make this round your best one yet, guys. You want to think about your bellies tomorrow because you've done the hard work today. Woo, keep going, keep going. Strong exhale. Change. <laughs> Hand hands. Oh yeah, maybe a little French music in the background. Here we go. Just like those rock heads. All right, guys, we got it. We're all in the line. Keep going. <laughs> Woo, strong through that belly. Maybe a little flaring of the toes. Yes, Sam. Good work. You got it, Nicole. Change. One more round the world. Shins are parallel to the ceiling. Staying nice and lifted through the chest rather than pulling. Use your bellies. Use your exhale. That's it, Nicole. Keep going. Keep going, guys. Done. We are done with abs. All right, have a sip of water, towel off, whatever you got to do. I'll just walk through our first set of four exercises. So in and out squats. You can bring the arms into it to give it a little more cardio. So we start with a squat and then we step out one way, squat through the center and step out, squat. So nice, lovely squats coming through center each time as we take them in and out. 
Then for upper body work, our press ups is a walking plank press up. So you take your hands off to the left side of your mat, do your press up, come through center, do a press up, whoo, walk your plank to the right side. Take it or leave it. You can just do straight press ups. You can come to your knees. The upper body work is kind of a do it what works for you. So that's a suggestion. And then our balance work is a sprinter lunge. So the left leg is going to stay grounded first. You step back with the right leg, right fingertips come down. Then you switch to your right foot and drive the left knee in towards the chest. So right hand, right foot down. Right foot down, left knee to chest. So it's like you're getting ready to go on a sprint, thus sprinter lunge. And then mountain climbers, driving opposite knee to opposite arm. Those are the four. We'll start with in and out squats. Let's catch our breath in our squat and take it wide. Come through center, take it wide. Yes, Kate. Again, if you wanted weights to add the arm work, you could certainly enhance that. Yes, Cooch, you got it. Breathing here. Staying lifted through the chest. Awesome, Allison. Taking your planks for a walk. Adding the press up where you want. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep going, guys. Working at your own pace, at your own level. Strong through the legs, strong through the belly. So good, Kate, you got it. Stage. Ooh, it feels like Saturday morning. Okay, sprint your lunge, just to review. Stepping back low, and then changing directions, knee to chest. Here we go, right hand down, left knee to chest. These could be a little more cardio if you wanted to quicken the pace. Or if you want to slow down the transition and work the balance more, you decide. Oh yeah. Change. Catch your breath in your plank. We'll set up for a mountain climber, spiking that heart rate. Three, two, one, and again. Find those shoulders stacking over the wrists. Hips aren't too high. And quick on the toes, driving the knees towards the opposite arm to get that lower belly work. Yes, Cooch. Keep going, keep going. So good. Whew. One, change. Back to the top. That was the first round. Three more to go with those. In and out squats, catch your breath in the squat, maybe. And here we go. So stepping wide. The idea is you get nice and low through the hips. Tailbone drives down. But you stay lifted through the chest and you're not collapsing forward. Great work, Kate. Even out your breath. Sick. Let's walk our planks. Catch your breath in your plank, maybe. And take the press up if that's what you want through your upper body workout today. Come to your knees if that's what suits your body today. Or do straight up press ups. Go, Phil. Yeah. Woo! Change. Ooh, yeah. All right, sprinter. Right fingertips down, right toes back. Shift left knee drive. And let's go. So as you transition your feet, Try and hug the midline so you take away that wobble. Finding your concentration to make those transition nice and smooth. Yes, Allison, so good. You got it, Kate. Change. Let's catch our breath and plank. Get our cardio blast through our mountain climbers. Three, two, one, and begin. So tapping into a little oblique work here as you drive equally, knee to opposite arm. Can you be light on the toes thanks to your strong bellies? Awesome work, Nicole. Keep going. Good work, Coach, you got it. Oh. Change. All right, two of those done. Two more to go. 
In and out squats. Here we go. So taking those squats nice and deep, just to emphasize that lovely booty work, inner outer thighs, strong quads. So good, you guys. Change. Walk in the plank. Breath, three, two, one, here we go. Feeling any tenderness through the wrists, maybe you come to your fists. Strong through the legs, engage through the belly, so you're not wobbly through your press ups. Yeah. Change. Left leg starts forward. Fingertips of the right hand, right toe tips down, and up. Pumping the arms can also add that little cardio element. You got it, Coach. Good. Knee to chest also gives you a little belly work. Great. Oh, what well, do you know? Setting right up here for your planks. Catch your breath. And we'll mountain climb it out. Let's go, guys. Maybe a little faster on this round. How light can you be on your toes? As if no one knows you're doing them, right? So good. That's it, up. Connect to your breath. Let it help you. Fire up. Change. Back to the top for the last round of this four. In and out squats. Three, two, one, and go. So as you get fatigued here, maybe it makes more sense to work slowly, not flinging the limbs. Maybe you want to go faster. Your music's really good. Always within what works for you. Change. Let's take our planks for a walk. Straight up press up, come to your knees, whatever you want to do. Using your breath, using your connection to your strong bellies, building that upper body strength. That's awesome, Kate. Good work. You got it, Nicole. So nice. Change. Left leg for this round of our sprinters. Three, two, one, let's go. Maybe you've got a little more pace on this one as you familiarize with the transitions. Yes, Allison, you got it. Breathing here. Keep going, keep going. So good, you guys, so good. Change. Last set of mountain climbers. Pace on. Go. Get a little bit of a rest after this as I describe the next set of four. So maybe you've got a little reserve to go faster. Woo. Keep going, keep going. Last three, two, one, finish. First set, guys. Okay, I'll go through our next set. Our squat is going to be a squat kickback. So going for the level change here, nice and low, and then kick back. You could even add an element of balance and come to your tippy toes. These are also known as Superman squats because you're kind of soaring as you lift. Crab dance is our upper body work. So you're in a reverse tabletop. I'm going to bring my hands a little wider, my feet a little wider than my torso. And then you tap opposite foot to opposite hand. So getting that sneaky tricep work, belly stays engaged to help with the balance. You can also just do straight up press ups if that's not for you. And then right leg grounds, left fingertips down, and then you switch to the opposite of what we didn't catch on the first side. And then wide-legged burpees, Allison, we just, we jump back 
we jump wide and we squeeze to stand. No jumping at the top. Squat kickbacks to begin with or supermans, whatever you want to call them. Here we go. So we're looking for that level change. Nice and low through your squat and nice and lifted as you soar. You can come up onto your tippy toes, it's kind of fun. Nice Kate. Nice sinking up the youngs, so good. Whew. Awesome flying cooch. Change, crab dance. Set up your reverse tabletop. You wanna to come to your fists to support your wrists, that's also quite nice. Here we go. So take some coordination. Takes a little hugging to the midline for balance. And certainly turning the triceps, getting those pecs working. Yes, good work, Sav. You got it. Keep going. Nice. So good, Kate. Woo. Change. Sprinter lunge with the right leg grounded, left fingertips, those toe tips down. And again. So finding your balance on this side. Working through that transition of swapping your feet. Maybe you can get a little lower. Stay connected to your center. Awesome work. Change. Okay, wide-legged burpees. First round of these like we love them. Maybe a little energy through the fingertips. Three, two, one, let's do it. Jump back, jump wide, press to stand. So finding that connection to your center so you're not flailing your legs back and forward. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Get that heart rate up. Woo. Three, two, one. Change. That's our first round. We're so almost there at our Saturday, guys. Squat kickbacks. And you fill those lungs up, maybe with a chest soaring, thinking fluttering cape behind you. Good work, you guys. Nice cooch. Really good soaring, Nicole. Looks good on that ankle. I'm impressed. Whew. Change. Crab dance. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Give yourself a wide foundation for a little extra balance. And go. Tap it on out. Staying nice and engaged through the belly. The hips don't slam down. But it's a little lift up thanks to your strong arms. Awesome work, Allison. Whoa. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, change. Sprinter lunge. So right leg that grounds, left fingertips, left toe tips down. Three, two, one, and go. Find your evenness of breath here as you go through each stage of this. Yeah, it looks so good. You've got it, Kate. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Finishing up round two, wide-legged burpees. Oh yeah. Three, two, one, and go. So take it at your pace where you really feel you're getting quite puffed. This is the opportunity for our heart rate to get a little jazzed. Yes, awesome pace, Allison. You got it, Cooch. Way to jump back in. I love it. Yes, Sav. Change. Okay, two more done. Let's do the squat kickbacks or Superman squats, whatever you want to call them. We just love them. Good level chains, everyone. Fill up those lungs, recovering. So good, Phil. That's it, Sav. You can use weights here too. Get that little extra tricep kickback. Yeah. Change. Let's take those crabs, dance them out. Recover. Three, two, one. You're on for 20. Yeah. Maybe you're going a little faster as you get familiar with the balance required here. Finding that diagonal. Support, so good. Yes, Kate. Yeah. 
Okay, sprinter lunge. So left fingertips, left toe tips. Three, two, one, and go. Driving that right knee towards your chest. Opportunity to go from low to high here. Keeping that balance. Keeping that nice smoothness through these movements. Change. Wide-legged burpees, round three. Energize, commit, and let's flash these out, guys. Maybe if you get so light through the feet, you're popping up into a handstand. Your belly is so engaged. Oh, yeah. Can you make them so quiet on the landing that no one hears you do them? Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> yes, Phil. One more round, guys. We're in the home stretch. Squat kickbacks. Three, two, one. We got it. Last set of four. Maybe your pace quickens. Maybe you slow it down. What's Saturday bringing for you? You got it, Kate. Nice. H. Crab dancing it out. Catch your breath, prepare. And let's go. I know for me, if I get really tired, I start to lose my balance. So if you're like me, maybe you need to slow this round down. If you like Steve, maybe you've got your step and you've got it. Keep going, keep going. Woo. Last round for our sprinter lunge knee drive. Right leg's grounding. Three, two, one, and go. Find your pace here. As it's the last one, maybe you really can tap into your rhythm. Maybe the depth in the lunge is a little deeper. Maybe the knee to chest is a little higher. Yes, Kate, awesome work. You got it, Cooch. Change. Okay, this is it. Wide legged burpees, and then we are to uh uh. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. And go. Keep going, guys. So strong. Nice height through the hips there, Bill. Good work, Nicole. Yes, Av. Go, Allison. Love the pace. That's it, Coach. You got it, Kate. Keep going. Keep going, guys. So good. Three, two, one. You're finished. Fantastic work for a Saturday morning. Like who knew?